back when you were in Chicago, you had number two pick, you picked Elena. Um, do you see any game changes like Elena in this draft? You know, it's funny you mentioned that this is a really nice draft. We knew at either one, two, three, or four, we're going to get a nice player that can make an impact for many years in this league. And top four players usually go on to make, you know, all star teams and rookies of the year and win championships. So we're excited about that. And yeah, that number two pick worked out pretty good for me in Chicago. Coach, how would you assess the talent pool in this year's draft? You know, that's all everyone's been talking about since last year's draft. They were looking to so many players, and it's not just that it's deep, it's deep at multiple positions. There's some bigs, there's some small, there's some swing players. And we all know this league is, you know, really getting really bigger, faster, stronger, more skilled players, but also the intellect of these players. You know, we have them for a small amount of time, so it's really nice when you can get that player that has all those intangibles. You know, I, I think the tough year, uh, we really built some character with some players that were forced to step into the forefront and play some extended minutes. You know, just with the injuries and new players, I think uh, that's going to help us gain some momentum going into 2018. Um, does this lottery pick with the Fever back in the playoffs in 2018? That is the goal. You know, that's the place where the Fever has had a comfortable stay, and that's where we're trying to get back to. The, the intangibles are everything. Obviously, we're attracted to the size, speed, athleticism, but during this time, you want to get to know the character of the person. You want someone that can take care of the locker room, someone that's self-motivated, work ethic, coachable, and even extend some leadership qualities.